welcome to my craft room. I'm Nina with Wawa Stamping. Thank you so much for stopping by today and spending some time with me. So I have a couple of things that I want to share with you today. One of them is going to be the new colors that is coming out this year in the new annual Stampin' Up! catalog. So I'm going to be telling you about those. And then I have some swatches of the retiring colors that I want to share with you. And I've got a project here that we're going to be doing also. This is a very quick little project. It's called Mail Art. And what I've done is I've created a panel that I have stamped and decorated and then addressed on the front of this envelope. So when you send something like this in the mail, not only is the card on the inside a little gift in itself because you made it especially for that person but the envelope is also a really cool gift. A list of the supplies that I've used to create the project today is at the beginning of the video and I'll also have it at the end as well as over on my blog. Alrighty so let me start off and I do not have this attached to the envelope because I didn't want to waste an envelope um, with my own name on it. So I've just laid this on top. I'll show you how to adhere the next one that I make. But this is the simple but gorgeous way to do envelope art. So we're, this is the project we're gonna be working on now. Let's move on over here and I want to share some of these absolutely stunning new colors. So this is over on my blog and you can go over and print this out for yourself if you like. This is called the 2018 Color Revamp Hex Values. So we have the 2018, 2000, 20 in colors right here which are all new colors lovely lipstick grapefruit grove pineapple punch call me clover and blueberry bushel and then think about grapefruit grove or lovely lipstick with powder pink or berry burst for that matter these colors to me they just speak to me and looking at the colors this year um, I feel like everything really coordinates together so very well. There's so much more of a gradual variation, especially in the mid-tones of all of these colors, and I think that they work together better than the colors that I've worked with from stamping up in the past. We have the 2017 through 2019 end colors, which you're probably already familiar with. Powder Pink, Lemon Lime Twist, Tranquil Tide, Berry Burst, and Fresh Fig. Then they've separated the Whisper White, Very Vanilla, and Basic Black into its own color collection, and they're just calling that the basics. When you think about it, white and black are just neutral colors that go with anything. So I think that putting them in their own color family and their own collection was a great idea. Then we're going to move down and we've got our neutrals, brights, subtles, and regals. The neutrals are all beautiful. I love how we go from the Mary Merlot all the way down to the Knight of Navy, which is a very classic color. And then we have a new gray called gray gray granite. I like it. And we've still got the basic gray. So we have three different colors of gray now. Gray granite, smoky slate, and basic gray. Then we have the brights. They are so vivid and beautiful and make excellent colors for really any kind of project at all. Then we'll move over and we have the subtles which are very soft and kind of muted. And then the regals are very rich and full of color. Sure. Can you already imagine yourself using those colors in your next cards or projects? And there are also some colors that were previously used that will be coming back and those colors are Mossy Meadow, Poppy Parade, Flirty Flamingo, which we'll get to that in a minute, Coastal Cabanas, Mint Macaron, we'll get to that also, and Blackberry Bliss. Now, so let's go through our colors that are retiring. So we have Always Artichoke, Chocolate Chip, which I'm kind of sad to see that one go in a way, but then every time I would use this paper, I would think about a Hershey candy bar, so I guess it's good and bad. Now this one, I'm really going to miss. Elegant Eggplant. Purple is my favorite color, so of course I'm going to miss Elegant Eggplant. Island Indigo. Marina Mist. There's another purple that I love. Perfect Plum. Pink Pirouette. Red Rose, 
or rose red. I said that totally backwards. Let me do this right here so that I can get all of these colors in the camera for you at one time. There's the pink pirouette and the rose red. Soft sky, tangerine tango, wild wasabi, and wisteria wonder. So all of these colors are going bye-bye. Now, let me get these out of the way and I'll show you some of the in colors that are going away. So we have Dapper Denim, Emerald Envy, Flirty Flamingo, Peekaboo Peach, and Sweet Sugar Plum. Now, the Flirty Flamingo, let me get back to this, like I was saying. This color is currently being used, but it's an in color. So it's going to move from the in colors to the Brights collection. So the Flirty Flamingo is going to be hanging around. Now the Mint Macaron was a color that came out last year and as far as I can remember it was only around during the occasions catalog and celebration and they're going to be bringing that one back. Let's see if I have it here. So here is the mint macaron. As you can see it's kind of a blue green. So that's a nice color to use on lots of springtime and summer projects. All right, so let me show you these. And I have all of these over on my blog that you can go and print out. These are the color coaches. This is the in colors here. And what this does is it's giving you colors such as the Powder Pink, Berry Burst, Fresh Fig, Trinkle Tide, Lemon Lime Twist, and it's giving you ideas of color combinations that you can use which eat with each of these colors. Then we have the new and colors, same thing. It's giving you color combinations that you can use with those new colors. Now also, I'm providing for you over on my blog that you can print out is the blanks. And what you'll do with these is you can punch out little circles or color them in if you want to use your ink pads, but I would just probably punch out little circles from the actual cardstock and you can create your own color combinations so that's really cool this is a great reference sheet for you or me or anybody because even I who love love loves spending time in my craft room creating sometimes I get stumped and I look at a, a piece of cardstock and I just cannot come up with a color combination. So this is great for those days when you have creative block and you're not sure what you wanna make with what. So great, and you can print that off over on my blog. If you have any questions about retiring product or retiring colors, or the new colors, make sure you send me an email to nina at walleyestamping.com. All right, so let's take a look at today's project, what you're going to need to create this. What you'll want to use, and I just have one of our Whisper White envelopes, and the actual size of this envelope is five and three quarters by four and three eighths. So I've got my paper here cut to five and a half, by four and a quarter, which is the size of a regular card. So I've got my piece of Whisper White here, and I just have a two by four mailing label right here, and I've just put it on my clothes and gotten lint on the back of it. I just barely want that to have any adhesive at all because I didn't get enough of the adhesive off previously on one of the papers that I was doing and it stuck and I couldn't get it off. So, just a word to the wise, get most of the adhesive off the back. I've decided to use the Falling Flowers stamp set today. My particular favorite shape in the stamp set is this one right here. Whenever I am just doodling, this is the kind of stuff that I like to doodle. So, of course, I'm drawn to that shape. So I'm gonna use this one, this flower, and this leaf pattern. 
I'm going to be using several colors from the Stampin' Blends markers, two of which are going to be retiring. This is the Pink Pirouette Light and Dark. So those are all the colors I'm going to be using, and as I'm coloring, I'll tell you what those are. We're going to start out by doing our stamping. A couple of inks here. I've got my Sweet Sugar Plum and my Memento Tuxedo Black ink. I'm using this ink because it is great to use with the... Oopsie, sorry about that. Didn't mean to make that much noise. It's a great ink to use with the alcohol markers. So I'm going to get my flower inked up here and then I'm going to stamp right here on the edge. I have a mask that I created some time ago that I just keep inside my um, case for my stamps for this very reason. So I stamped that once and I'm going to stamp right here a second time. So this flower will look like it is sitting behind the first one. Then I'm going to stamp this again on this corner, put down my mask, and stamp beside it. There we go. So that's all I need that for. I'll need that again, however. The next thing I'm going to do is stamp this. I'm going to put my mask over this one just to make sure that I don't stamp over that flower. Make sure I'm getting that inked up well enough. All right. Then I'm going to come in here, stamp this down right here. Cover it up right there. Stamp up this way. I think that's all I'm going to do with that stamp. Next, I'm going to use my leaf stamp right here. And I'm not going to use this very much. I just want a little hint. And let's see here. I'm going to cover these up so that that doesn't stamp somewhere I don't want it to. Okay, that's fine. Then I want a couple more leaves over here and I'm just gonna come from the outside in just like that. Okay, so that's all the stamping I'm going to do. I'm gonna move these things out of my way because I don't know about you, but when I am working it drives me crazy if I have too many things in my way. So we'll start our coloring here in just a second. But before I do, if you can see some of these places, because the paper, um, the little label I have on here is raised up just slightly, but it's enough that sometimes the stamp the ink doesn't get right there. I've just got a Sharpie marker and any place where I see something like that, I'll just go in and fix it. All right, now what I'm going to do next, and I don't know how well you'll be able to see, but I'm going to take my Sharpie and I'm going to draw all along the outside edge of my label that I have on here. Now hopefully this will peel off. And just be careful when you start peeling it off. See right there, it was trying to tear. But now, because I made sure that I took most of that adhesive off, it protected my paper, but it's coming off like I want it to. How cool is that? Don't you love it? All right, I'm gonna start out with my lightest old olive and my dark old olive, and I'm gonna color in all of the leaves. Then for the flowers, I'm going to use the light and the dark pink pirouette, and uh, let's see, what have I got here? The light rich razzleberry, and then I'm going to be using the light and the dark pool party on some of the other portions. So this is going to take a couple of minutes for me to get done. So I'm going to turn on some music and let you watch the coloring process. And when I'm done, I'll come back and tell you what's next.
Alrighty, so we've got that all colored in. There's a couple more things that I want to do. And I decided, after I looked at this on my envelope, that it just didn't stand out well enough. So what I decided to do was use my Sweet Sugar Plum, which is a retiring color, ink up my, my sponge, and just add this all the way around. All right, so that's all I'm going to do with that. Now let's go ahead and address this. I've got my tea ruler here, and I'm just gonna lay that down, take my pencil, and just very lightly mark three lines across, or actually two lines, not three. Well, no, I guess I could go ahead and put a third one, just to make sure I keep everything straight. Then I can use my Sharpie and address this. So I'm just going to put my name up here. Now I just use a fictitious address because I don't live on street name. <laughs> so anyway, there's that. Now let's talk about sticking this down to our envelope. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and do that now. You want to make sure that you get adhesive right up next to all of the edges of this cardstock that you took time to color because as you well know, sometimes when envelopes are going through the mail, they can get really damaged. And we do not want all of our artwork being pulled off this envelope. Let's get that lined up. Stick that down. And then you can always turn this over and put your name and address back here. So how cool is this little project? So I'm hoping that the next time that you make a card or send a letter to someone or a birthday card or whatever it might be, that you'll take just a few extra minutes to decorate the front of the envelope. Then of course you put a couple of stamps up here. Thank you for joining me today. I hope that you enjoyed today's project and learning about the retiring colors as well as the new colors that are coming out in the new annual catalog. If you have any questions concerning the retiring product and colors or the new colors, make sure that you send me an email. The address is nina at wallastamping.com. And if you need any of the product that you've seen me use today, I'll, again, I'll have a list at the end of the video and I'll have a list over on my blog. All you have to do is click on the image to shop or you can go to wallastamping.com forward slash order SU. While you're over at my blog, make sure you don't forget to sign up for that newsletter so that you can receive your welcome gift as well as the exclusive tutorials and promotions. And as always, I would love for you to subscribe to my YouTube channel, give this video a thumbs up, and share it with your friends. I hope you have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon.